Beneath the ardent gaze of Sappho, the greatest poetess the world has ever known, lies present-day Mytilini, built on seven hills. The town's fortress was constructed during the reign of Emperor Justinian. Down in the harbour, the hustle and bustle is never-ending. Ships come and go, laden with passengers and cargo. There are those who arrive and those who depart, perhaps taking with them an olive twig and memories of sea and sunshine. The town, with its old mansions and picturesque streets, assimilates to perfection local tradition and a cosmopolitan atmosphere. On the summit of the northern hill, amid lush vegetation, stand as testimonies of a past civilization and culture, an ancient theater and the remnants of an aqueduct. Beyond, in the museum named after the famous painter Theophilos, popular tradition emanates through the evocative paintings. In the northern part of the island is situated Petra. In the center of the village, on a rock with 100 steps hewn into it, one sees the church of Panagia Glicophilusa. On the seafront, octopuses are being grilled on charcoal to the gentle rustling of the waves, which awaken nostalgic thoughts and forgotten feelings. south we come to Molivos, known in ancient times as Mithimna, with its medieval castle and its narrow climbing lanes. Sunbeams play hide and seek on the magic seashore. Waves gently rise and the olive trees blossom, their fruit ripening on the boughs. lies Eftalu with its thermal springs. And at Sigri, with its natural beauties and sandy beaches, we come across the unique phenomenon of a petrified forest. The entire forest comprises of large and small ashen-colored petrified tree trunks. Some of them send as high as six meters, with a circumference of eight meters.
at Ayia Paraskevi, history and legend blend together by way of the Taurus feast, which has its origins in ancient times. Φωτός δημιουργός Κύριο Θεόσιμον, καταξίωσον με της βασιλείας σου επιτυχήν, ότι σε δέσποτα και μόνον επεπόθησιν η ψυχή μου. Here, on this rock at Eresos, were first heard the sensuous and tender songs of Sapfo. Ayasos, with its paved streets, where the potter Kyudzis faithfully continues a time-honored tradition. This island of olive trees, of translucent seas and skies, everything maintains its own particular pace amid fragrance and a radiant light. <laughs> 